morning guys uh, hope you're all doing well obviously we haven't done a full vlog for the last few days obviously as you know um, because we've had big issues obviously trying to find some content um, but today we are intending to go out even if it's just for a little while we're gonna go out for an hour um, just so the kids can get some exercise um, get get some air because we've been stuck indoors again um, so at the moment I am in the middle of sorting out a special picture I've been, I've been doing these crystal beads as you know um, crystal diamonds I'm in the middle of doing a very special picture unfortunately because people obviously the, the people that I'm doing this picture for are in they actually watch our vlogs so I can't unfortunately tell you or show you what the picture is that I'm doing um, but let's just say it's going to take me a little while this is just the beads involved um, at the moment as you can see this is just one pack of black alone um, as you can see that's without I've got another pack over here which is even twice as long uh, <laughs> um, so yeah so we're gonna I want to try and get some of this done first um, and then obviously we're gonna see about going out so morning guys so as Lee said we are going out um, taking the kids out for a little while I need to get out of this house because I'm gonna go stir crazy although I have actually had the the benefit of going out to get shopping and stuff so I have got out but it's not the same um, we're taking little madam I think she's gonna be riding her bike CNY and Kenzie over there and then obviously Lee there and Hi guys. We're just literally no gonna go out. We've got to be back in time before Madison gets home from school, haven't we, Kadia? Yeah. So Madison gets home about three, yeah. half three, something like that. Um, so we're not sure where we're going yet, but I yeah, we just need to go out, especially guys. as they forecast this snow. Now, I don't think we'll get it, <laughs> but famous last words. Famous last words. <laughs> so I've just had a shower. As you can see, my hair's soaking wet still. Probably a bad idea going out with wet hair, but I'll regret it in a little while. So if anyone in... Eh. <laughs> All right, I'll let him off with the tree surgeon, so... Does not matter. Um, I'll let... <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so famous last words with the snow. So we're gonna take the kids out and take advantage of it in case it does come. Cause normally when they say we're gonna get snow like they forecast, it normally hits pretty hard. So, hopefully, fingers so crossed we say, don't. So anyone obviously that's in, in the area the same as us, obviously if they've got problems with their drains, obviously from this from any point today, obviously you know why. Just saying. I don't know what he was talking about. So guys, I bought this face mask. And it's fantastic. I look just like Star Wars. But now Lee's found a new invention for it. I am Jack Kudostow. Where's in fact, the I am taking the swimming. Uh, look at the lovely ocean. And the cup. I <laughs> <laughs> just picked him in the face. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. But um, Disney has just updated their mask policy. Um, saying that you can wear clear panel <laughs> masks. So... No, okay, Lee's going to try and get used to it but we need to try and anti-fog ones because them ones keep fogging up when you brief so I'd be no good yeah and if I go out in the fog I can't see nothing and he thinks putting it over his eyes if I go out in the fog I can't see it's anything better. this is <gasps> the sort of crazy oh, like thing a I welder. this is the crazy thing I have to put up with guys does your dad look scared? never fear <laughs> I don't want to start this morning. I don't want to go anywhere. Um, so it looks like I'm going to have to get on to RAC at some point. 
or I'm trying to find out why the battery keeps draining down because I can't keep starting this especially if we've got all this snow coming the last thing I'm going to need is to be stuck obviously and not be able to start it in the morning it's going to be a pain in the bum so oh, here we go again so buy up I don't even know where I'm here but the worst part is is the battery is actually inside under the under the floor literally right in the center of the two seats on the floor so all I can do is I'll get the junk leads ready and, oh, um, so I've got the leads and everything it's not a problem but it's just such an annoyance you know a van that's not even two years old yet and it's playing up that shouldn't be happening so I'll get this sorted out in a sec see the worst part is this is what's the biggest piss take of all right look this now this less than two years old okay this nearly 20 years old 21 21 years old starts first time on the button and i'm using something that's 20 years old <laughs> to start something that is less than a, less than two years old that just goes to show you well i don't know that's what it, it says fiat found it found, found it at the tip yeah <laughs> okay hang on so I'm just gonna go to Kenzie and Kayla. I just had to go inside and get the keys for the garage because anyway, like I was saying, I just had to go back indoors and get the keys to the garage. But right, gonna be opening the garage. So as he said, my 21 year old car starting a less than two year old van. Um, quite embarrassing really, isn't it? It's embarrassing, but the one thing that it's not embarrassing, at least I can hold... At least I can hold my head up high and say that it's not my car. <laughs> so, we're just going to get the kids' bikes out of the garage and then we'll be on our way. So guys, we are on the way. Eventually. Eventually. Excuse the sun. We are, um, after, like Lee said, starting his less than two year old van with a 21 year old motor. Um, and the worst part is, I've got no petrol hardly. My literally, my light's on and it's on empty. It's embarrassing. But the thing is, it's, it, the thing just keeps going and going. I just don't know how it does. It's not even like we look after it. I don't even look, yeah, I don't even look after it. And I'm not ashamed to admit it, you know, I literally will just throw that thing about because. Well, what is it, what? It's the just. The only thing we do with it is it goes for an MOT every year. Yeah. Somehow it manages yep. to pass. Yep. And it might need a wiper blade or a bulb nothing um, never nothing ever really major need, it needed doing to it a couple of years ago it needed some welding didn't it or no a wishbone oh, no, it was a um, couple of wishbones wishbones the bushes have gone which is normal I guess that's 20 years and the drive it the, the track rod wasn't it or the uh, steering rack yeah but other than that but like I say it's a 20 year old car so yeah. that's general wear and tear you can't moan it other than that, I haven't had to really spend any money on it. And that only cost me about, what, four or five hundred pounds? Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going to be calling RAC out when obviously we get back um, to come and sort out this piece of rubbish. Sorry, babe, but it is. And like... Oh, don't, don't say sorry to me, it is. It's I don't know fun. whether Lee said, but with obviously snow they threatened, yeah. it's not going to get any better. So it's where were... Van, don't get me wrong. But for something that's as new as it is, um, you don't expect to walk out of your front door and it's not, start having the jump start. I wouldn't say it's been that cold down here, would you? Nah. 
you know, it's not like it's been and that all right, long. I know I don't use it very often, but we don't use yours very often either. But mine always starts first time, yeah. doesn't it? This so, is just rubbish. I don't think, I don't use my car every day. Um, we don't use it very often at all. I'll use it if I go like shopping or whatever. But my car, without foul, starts every single, I don't think I've, since I had the car, what, two years ago? Nearly three, it'll be three years in November, won't it? Yeah. Since I've had the car, three years this November, I don't think I've had to jump start it once, have I? I've not had to jump start the car once. So Toyota, they're Japanese made cars and they just, they just go on and on and on and oh, on. They are, bulletproof. They are they literally, are literally you probably same. could shoot at it and it probably wouldn't even damage it. If anybody out there has ever watched Top Gear, do you remember the episode they did with the Toyota Hilux, the pickup, where they strapped it to uh, uh, Causeway um, onto a jetty and waited for the tide to come in and then it still started and then they caught fire to it it's and it still started <laughs> and they did all that stuff to it and it just kept going and going. Well, that is like Louise's car. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it, because again, it's Toyota. Uh, I reckon you could do the same with that. Mm -hmm. I really do. We've driven through massive puddles and stuff, haven't we? And it's just still carried on going. I reckon you could crush that and it'd still start up. <laughs> We've had to replace the starter on it, um, and what else was it? The link cable. Oh, for the battery main. The battery main cable link, for yeah. to the battery or starter. We we had to obviously um, replace that one. Um, about that, but that was literally after I got not long after I got the car. Oh no, that wasn't on this one, was it? That was on oh, the no, Citroen. That was, no, that was on the Citroen. Oh, sorry, I apologise. That was on the Citroen C8 we had. That was even more a piece of rubbish than obviously Lee's Fiat. That was rubbish. Um, good cars, comfy cars, but very, very unreliable. And a yeah, lot of problems electric. with electrical problems like um, yeah. airbag lights and stuff like that. And nothing wrong with the airbags, but the airbag lights will come on and then it's normally the anti-pollution yeah. anti-pollution problems and stuff like that so we're on our way now we're, it is a little drive but like I said we've been we have been stuck indoors for weeks and the kids need to get out and just let off let let, let out some energy get or get some energy and let off some steam so we've just arrived um, at Sean Wood um, Obviously, excuse the sun. Um, it's not that far from us, and on, there's no one. Oh, sorry. Hold on a minute. Let me plug the. Come Let me plug the air pump in so we can pump Kinsey's tire up. <laughs> so yeah, it's not that far from us, obviously. But um, Sienna's just getting her bike out, and it's just like. Um, Katie's on her bike there. It's just like a woodland walk, really, and there's like a little um, like cafe thing there. But obviously, we've never got to use that because um, because of COVID. But if you look all the way down there, we're going to walk down there. Um, Madison School isn't actually that far from here. Hopefully, don't. But Madison School isn't actually that far from here, is it? No, Madison. So, so hopefully, we don't bump into Madison. Huh? Hopefully we don't bump into Madison. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're just like um. Yeah, we just needed to get out. The kids just are. They've got so much energy and they just need to burn some off. Um, there's hardly anyone here, as you can see. The car park is pretty much empty. Oh, there's quite a few cars over there. But other than that, it's quite empty. Katie, okay, be careful, please. Is his tyre done now? Yeah. So, Kenzie's got his bike. Sienna's just having her tyre pumped up. And then we'll be going for a walk. Does anyone remember, guys, last time we come here last year? When Lee... When Lee got stuck... Couldn't let it go. And he ended up face first 
Hold on a minute, I've got Kenzie coming behind me. Um, he ended up face first. It's muddy here. Into this tree here. And he went down here. Thought he'd be clever. I ain't trying it this time. I went face first into that tree. Um, you're not trying it again? No. No? No. This is As you can see, it's more. really, really muddy. Yeah, it's much wetter than it um, was. Much, much muddier than it was last time. But we're not going off trail this time. No. We're not getting lost this time. It took us about four hours to find the way out last time, didn't it? Because <laughs> we decided to go off trail. Um, but I think the kids are enjoying themselves just riding their bikes, just burning off some energy. Nice to get out. Careful, mind your brakes. This way, right? Come on, you. Right. Okay, dear. Yeah. Next time, don't listen to mum when she says, mind your brakes. What she should have said was, yeah. use your brakes. Yeah, I said, mind your brakes. <laughs> and I said, no, use your brakes, KDJ. Land into a wall. Uh, or go or down a tree. A, or tree, or go down a thing. Straight ahead, straight ahead, we'll just follow it right round. Oh, okay. We are not going off route anywhere. Ow! Come on. Yeah. Come on, Katie. You learned to ride a bike last summer. No, it wasn't last summer. Huh? Yeah. Cycle Yeah, that's the way we got lost. Can you believe it's been in July? It's been two years since Katie learned to ride a bike and Kenzie. Yeah, it wasn't last summer, was it? Because of COVID. I'm gonna push quickly push my bike. So you've been. You've been riding your bike for nearly two years without stabilizers, and you, Ken's. Yeah. I know, goodbye. Looks like he's gonna. <laughs> looks like his bag's gonna have to go in the wash, and he's so, everything in the wash when he gets back. It looks like these guys have got quite a bit of work to do. So got, uh, We're gonna carry on walking. I've just told Lee that we are not going off track. He said, "But that's the cycle route," and I said, "I don't care." That's where we got lost, lost last time. So, but if you live in Kent and you've never been here, definitely come down to Sean Wood Country Park. I never knew about it until, I always knew about it, but I've never been here up until I think it was last year. Um, unfortunately during COVID, but I've definitely been coming back here once everything's open and everything. And um, I'm not sure, Kadia. We'll go that, we'll just follow this round here. We'll go this way, I think. I'm not sure what way we've got to go. So, I think we'll just follow it around this way, yeah? Because yeah. there's no cycles, that one. Yeah. You enjoying your bike, son? Yeah. She doesn't use it very often, I think she's going to need a bigger one. So, as you can see, it's really, really pretty. I've left Lee back there. Because he's babbling on about something, some tractors and stuff. So, it looks like these guys have got quite a bit of work to do. As you can see, they've got a tractor there. You can see all the logs. And what they've got is it looks like they've got a, um, a wood saw and a conveyor belt. So they're cutting the wood, cutting the logs. And then it's travelling up the conveyor belt. And travelling up the conveyor belt, and as you can see, it goes into the trolley, into the trailer there. But look at all the, look at the amount of sand, the amount of sawdust there. It's amazing. So there you go. That's all of them ones, all of them. We've got another big massive pile over there and then you move around a bit and got another big pile there and then the last pile was there so they are going to have a lot of they work out for quite a while by the looks of it so hopefully now you know this is where you get all your logs from for your open fire um clearly obviously most of it looks like a lot of it comes from here i've just found I don't know if Louise found it, Louise spotted it or not, but it's like uh, like little seats. Um, like seats with a 
sculpture in the middle. It's really nice, that. Kenzie's enjoying going on his bike. Lee's having a race with Ken's. <laughs> You're on a race with Ken's, aren't you? Yeah, it's not working. No, Kenzie's beating him. Just leave Sienna behind. Well, toilets and car park are this way, so we know we're heading back. Did you notice the... Um... Yeah, I did, but I knew you'd film it, so... Oh. <laughs> what? The little teardrop thingy, Yeah, the little carving. Yes, I know. But we don't want to get lost, do we? Are we going in there? I don't know. Round that way, I presume. <laughs> I thought she just stood there. Done it. Did you see the way she did that? Are we going in there? <laughs> I don't know. Okay guys, so we need your help. Do we go that way? Or do we go that way? Do we go that way? Or that way? Is it? Yeah. So we just go around in one complete circle? Yeah. Oh cool. So we could just keep going around in a circle and then uh, <laughs> Yeah, we just keep going around in a circle. Well you could have gone we back the other way and then come out of the other back of the other back of the car park. Do you wanna go this way then? Go this way. Go this way! Oh my god guys, this is so confusing. It all looks the same. So we've just okay. come, we've just come out. This is where the van is up there. And we walked down there and we walked all the way round and we've come out here. Huh? We're yeah, going. So eventually we'll go round hopefully and it'll come out. We're hoping. So, wish us luck guys, because we might get lost. Look at the state of this one, look. Look, filthy. Look at the state of them. Look, they're filthy. I'm not that bad. Look at the Look at the state of it. These trousers. When, when we was at home, our clothes were clean. Yeah, there was. Of course it was clean, you know. I think it was because of all it's the... It's all the mud, isn't it? Mud, So they was perfectly clean when they come out. They're not no more. But oh well, they've had fun. Go down this way now. That's what washing machine's for. Isn't it, babe? Oh. That's what washing machine's for. So we're going to go the other way now. Um, and then we are trying not to get lost again. So we just had a toilet stop. Um, over there, there's a block of toilets. Not the cleanest, but... Obviously it is quite muddy. You, your bloods are high, aren't they? Yeah, so you're feeling a bit rubbish. Um, so we're gonna keep an eye on him. We're planning to just go for another little walk, but it all depends on Kenzie. Mm, his bloods are high. We'll hope like, riding his bike would bring them down, but they haven't. Mm. So, Luckily he's a boy because if he does need a toilet he can just kind of use the woodland. Um, we wouldn't normally allow it but um, with diabetes sometimes you can't help it. So we're just going down here. Went through the big puddle two times. Did you? Are you enjoying going through the big muddy puddles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you anywhere. And Katie has and Sienna are going through the big muddy puddles. Kenzie, you absolutely covered in mud. And then Lee's going to try it as well, look. Wash your wheels off, though. Yeah, I love being in the chair. I don't think you do like being in the chair, sweetie. Really. No. Be careful, though, okay? <laughs> there's a park, there's a play park over there, but it's closed at the moment because of COVID. Is it still closed? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I definitely want to come back here once obviously COVID's over and everything's opened up back up again. And I'm hoping we see some sort of normality return this year with the vaccines and everything, you know. Um, there will be... Yeah. There will be... Um, there will be more data on transmission rates and stuff like that. I think it's just too early to say um, whether the vaccines are going to prevent transmission, don't you? Hey. I think it's too early to say whether the vaccines are going to prevent transmission. It, it, I think it's one of them cases where 
people can't have, predict anything. No, people have wait and see. people have took it upon themselves because they've said that they're not sure if it pre prevents transmission. They took it upon themselves to say, oh well, th there's no point because they don't prevent transmission. So there's no point, obviously, unlocking everything. Blah blah blah. But it takes time. It takes time to get that data in, and hopefully, fingers crossed, things will start getting back to normal. Um, and when I'm called for a COVID in injection. I will be going to have it. Um, after seeing how it affected my granddad, and he had no symptoms. Yes, he was old. Yes, he had dementia. But it just goes to show you can never tell whether you've got it or not. Um, luckily, there's no one around us, as you can see. It's so peaceful and so quiet. I don't think we've been down this way before. Yeah, we have. No, I think we came that way, didn't we? We came all the way from around to up to here. We came down that way. We haven't been this way before. I slid off my bike. So, yeah, there's no one around. Um, perfect place to just go and just kind of socially distance from everyone. And yeah. so Shane Madison's missing out, but she's at school having fun. Oh, that's horrible and muddy. I wore the right shoes though. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep an eye on Ken's and go and see what's around here because we haven't been around here before. So we've come across, I'm not sure, we've come across this lake. I don't know if you can see very well. Obviously. I have to get out, get out of my bike out without... Um, yes, you don't want to go in there. It's quite a big lake. Um, there's some like birds and stuff over there. I'm not sure if I can see zoom it in. So my camera's playing up. But, yeah, it's really, really pretty and it's so warm, as I said earlier. Stick stick. Um, I really don't know if there's anything in here but it does say down there priority must be given to disabled anglers at any time and it says l8 yeah l8 i think that's the number of the jetty thing what, what is so it so i'd imagine there is actually fish in there yeah there's probably in there. um ducks not sure what kind of uh, fish there's two other platforms over there ducks. There might yeah be yeah there's there. ducks in there yeah yeah but they're probably right but i'm not there. sure if there's fish you see my shadow now. <laughs> it is so. And you see the kids' shadows. Mm, Katie's bike shadow. Uh, yeah. I don't think, uh, um, I don't think the stick one is. But it's just so. It's just so beautifully warm. I don't think this. I will stick learn one day to put. Live. Hold on a minute, guys. I've got my sunglasses stuck in my hair. Mom. I will one, learn one day to get my put my sunglasses on my face where they're supposed to go. I don't think this stick one is a live. What? I don't think this stick one is a live. Okay. Oh, look, there's a duck over there. So, Lee is just going to get his drone out. Um, we're not actually sure if it's allowed. Um, I've got a knot in my hair now from the sunglasses. Yeah, we will in a minute, darling, all right? Um, but, yeah, it's really, really, really pretty. So, oh. as you can see, Lee's put his drone up. It's up there somewhere. Yeah, I can kind of see it. It's like a little dot in the sky. Um, and you can get some aerial views of the what? Um, park. What if that, that uh, bumps in the water? Do you have to be such a killjoy? I love, I love you, baby. I really do. <laughs> what did you just say? Positive thinking would have been nice. What did you just say to Daddy? What, 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 what if it falls in the water? <laughs> Bit of a killjoy, you, ain't not you? He, but, I don't think he's allowed to go that high. Yes, he is, shush. It's the first time he's got to use it since Christmas. Because the weather's been so rubbish.
guys, we are back at the van and obviously we, as you saw, um, Sienna and Katie cleaned their bikes off under the tap. I didn't even know it was there, but it's handy to know now. I can see it on here. Um, so we're just heading out of Shawwood now. It's actually getting really busy now, isn't it? It is, yeah. Cool, um, yeah. I don't think anyone can actually believe this um, weather. Yeah, um, I think the weather is kind of drop, drawing people out, bringing their bikes and scooters, and we've seen someone else with a drone as well, haven't we? Yeah. Um, so, we're just heading out of Shortwood now, and then we are going to go and get some favourite chicken. Yeah. Every time we've eaten that, because I'm really hungry, um, and all the kids are, I think they've kind of built up an appetite. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to head home and wait for Madison to come home from school. Yeah. And, and so, uh, what a good time we've had while well, she's been slaving away doing her schoolwork. Yeah, she's been doing her schoolwork and we've had fun <laughs> kind of walking through the woods. But she wanted to go back to school, she needs to go back to school, and I think it's done her the world of good, to be fair. There's traffic right there. But yeah, it's been a good day. Um, it's just so cool. Favourite song. Katie guessed it and she said 
but it changes every day. Well, when it's not your favourite song, then is it, Kavia? I'll be sorry because it doesn't matter because Kenzie's apparently changes. Oh, but Kenzie's favourite song changes every week, so. Right. It's actually quite busy on the roads, which is really not good, but. We'll be home soon. So that's it for today, guys. We are going to end the video here. Um, Kalia J and Kenzie are off to bed in a minute. Madison's sitting at the table doing making origami. Um, something she got for Christmas, and it's been a good day. Um, it's been a weird day. The weather's been weird, where it's been so warm and stuff. So Lee's busy editing or doing thumbnails or something like that. Um, uh, Madison's made. Some origami. Sina's doing dishwasher. Yeah. Oh, hold on a minute. Katie's bringing hers over. Come on in. And uh, Katie J made this butterfly. And a cup of tea. So, well done, Katie. Well done, Madison. Sienna's meant to be in the kitchen doing the dishwasher for some reason. She's in the front room. Dishwasher's in the kitchen, Sienna. <laughs> go and do your chore so yeah that's it for today guys so now i'm going to pass you over to kadia for her little piece that she always does and we will see you again next time don't don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you so you get notified when when we post the videos bye 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 guys